La democracia en las Américas enfrenta una... Democracy in the Americas is facing serious challenges. There is a lack of trust by the citizenship with the political parties and political classes, a rebellion against the elites that represent it. There seem to be, that seems to be the situation in our hemisphere from the north to the south. As the Secretary General of the OAS, in an effort to bring democracy to the citizenship and to exercise tolerance and uh, uh, search for consensus. In our continent, democracy is conceived as the best form of governance, as the ideal system to resolve disputes in society in a peaceful manner. But we are not living in a bubble. The forces of intolerance, bigotry, and fanaticism operate at global level. And we in the Americas have to be vigilant uh, in the face of anything that comes from outside our region, despite the fact that the interconnectivity at global level has positive aspects for development. It is also used by those who promote conflict all the time, uh, murders like those those that took place in the medieval times uh, are far from what situation should be today. A couple of days ago, a crime took place in my uh, country, particularly in Paysandú, the state I was born in, and that is totally alien to uh, the situation in Uruguay. A leader of the Jewish community was stabbed to death by a murderer that, did, that said that he did it in the name of Allah. We energetically condemn this fact. We did it last week, and we are trying to uh, close our borders to any import uh, of this type of barbarianism. And now allow me to go back to my original topic. Democracy evolves to the extent that the citizenship participates and plays a protagonic role when uh, they have to make decisions that affect their future. It is a system that is built day after day and not only every five years at the time of voting. That phase of the democracy that is electoral processes in our continent are more transparent, clear cleaner, less questioned, but at the same time, the distrust of the citizens about the work of those they elect is very high, and the demand for non-accomplished goals creates a big gap between what the citizens aspire to get and what democracy gives them back. The outsiders of uh, politics that uh, are standing against the democracy that is happening throughout the continent from Sen North America going through Central and South America and without any clear ideology and it hits political systems both from the left and the right, a sort of punishment to the expectations of the people who feel that they were not uh, corresponded in their expectations despite the social and economic successes achieved in the last decade, we still have in our continent a vast social injustice. It is the most unequal continent, despite the fact that for the first time in history, the middle class exceeds in number the number of poor people. Part of these problems are the natural result of the condition and characteristics of the history of our states and the relationship between them. It has been hard for us to reverse the most obscure pages of our history. All the countries in this hemisphere have faced difficulty in promoting action to uh, limit our differences. The participation of all the countries of the America uh, shows the responsibility of our nations, and they cannot be forgotten. They have to be uh, the beginning of action in order to defend the principles of democracy, security and development, democracy, uh, human rights, and we have to attack poverty and other of these scorches. We, if we don't do anything in that respect, then whatever we say uh, has no moral value. 
uh, we shouldn't be speaking of the aesthetics of politics, but the ethics of politics. We have to stand at the forefront in the struggle for democracy, understood in that way, understood in that exercise of political rights, uh, facing each trouble and each problem that our citizens face. If we don't struggle and fight every day against corruption, against bigotry, against fanaticism, the future, uh, what the future may bring against our development and we don't help gain access to all the rights. If we don't accept that the greatest efficiencies of this continent come from organized crime and that uh, means thousands of deaths every year and we need solutions in that respect and we need them now. Democratic values mean nothing if we don't uh, do what Berta Cáceres and Nelson Garcia have said in their fight for equality uh, to the aboriginal populations in our continent. And we have to continue with that struggle and we should not hide the violation of human rights and murders. They don't mean anything if we don't remember the assassination of David Rem and it doesn't mean anything if we don't oppose uh, what is happening in Venezuela. I mean that the citizens are deprived of rights and medications, for instance those same values will mean nothing if we don't repeat and we don't fight for the political prisoners, be they students or whatever they may be. This means the criminalization of protests and the prison of each political prisoner means that our own rights, uh, political and civil rights, are imprisoned. Values mean nothing if we don't uh, try to defend the condition of women who are really suffering violence and injustice in this continent, unemployment and poverty, the condition of people with different capabilities and GTBI if we don't defend poverty in our continent and if we don't defend uh, child labor, uh, I mean we don't fight against child labor and we don't defend all the different rights that people have that lead to the happiness of men and women. We are poor when we are not respected and when we don't respect those rights. Dear friends, two words about a scourge that hits our society. Corruption erodes the democratic system and uh, fights uh, citizens and uh, leads them away from democracy. The OAS, after the Latin American Convention Against Corruption, has an institution that serves the countries uh, in against this fight. No matter how many agreements we reach, if the political class doesn't show any signs that it is struggling against corruption and impunity, then all this situation will continue. Corruption, corruption is one of the main causes of the distrust of the uh, citizens against the political system. Corruption and impunity do not go unseen today. The history judges us afterward, not afterwards, it judges uh, right now. Our societies are judging us now, uh, precisely now, on our words and on our actions. Transparency, Republican ethics in the governance are uh, aspects that bring trust back to the people. Politics can change the world and make it a better place, but collusion uh, promote distrust in politicians and they fight democracy. It is essential to strengthen the institutions so that those actions are punished. Crime has always existed, but we cannot tolerate impunity. That is what we cannot tolerate. On our part, we started to work in Honduras on a special mission of the OAS to uh, fight corruption and impunity and transform the current justice into a system that will serve the interests of the Honduran uh, people. The special mission of the OAS uh, that includes international tourists will certify judges uh, and prosecutors and will uh, disassemble corruption networks.
The challenges that we face demand to defend democracy as a system, but even more so as a way of life. Some of the challenges that we face uh, are, our, have been inherited from previous systems. Some have also arisen from demands of different natures. From democracy, we expect more and we demand more. Citizens of the America want more opportunities to progress. They want the battlefield to not always be uneven and uh, to uh, favoring the elites. The system, the democratic system has to be able to give an answer to the demands of the citizens, uh, all citizens, all those that are part of the system. What our motto in the OAS, besides more rights for more people, is the way of thinking about democracy. The challenges of democracy are solved with more democracy, more participation, more inclusion, more dialogue. The OAS wants to be a force of democracy and uh, liberties and human rights in the Americas. There is no neutral way. There, are, there is no variety of things. There are no costs that are so large that prevent us from defending those rights. And that is my mandate as a Secretary General. We have to be capable also of constructing a dialogue. Dialogue with our society is the main sign of a failure of a political system, is a lack of internal dialogue, the lack of generating possibilities for exchange among the different stakeholders. That is one of the main issues that we have approached, and we believe that along that road lie other solutions. There are other, other steps that can be taken. And that is why we have started in this project of interfaith dialogue in the Americas and with the participation of the three communities, uh, Catholics, Muslims, and Jewish, we hope to build environments for peace in our continents, uh, stages for peace to grow throughout our hemisphere. Uh, things can be solved only through a direct action. Words have to be taken to action. What we have written and the great consensus that we uh, reach in the Inter-American Conventions on Human Rights and in the democratic charters of the OAS, the charter of the OAS itself, contain consensus that are really strong and that provide clear parameters for action. Not everybody is always happy with uh, taking those principles from paper to action, and that sometimes generates uh, unhappiness, and some people don't want us to do it, but we have to do it, and that is the path that we have to go on treading on. Thank you.